What if I tell you that your day finishes with a sunset? You come home and there is no TV, no radio, no fridge, no light. Well, maybe a candle or a kerosene lamp. Maybe you can, cannot even afford that, so you burn dry grass to create a little bit of lighting. For over 1.2 billion people, this is reality. Not having access to clean lighting not that limits their possibility to study or work after the sunset. It also leads to chronic lung diseases and poisonings from kerosene fumes they inhale, as you can guess from this picture. It also puts them at risks of fires and burns. So what can we do about it? Electricity supply by grid extension seems to be the most plausible solution. However, the majority of these people live in remote areas in developing countries. A grid supply is therefore technologically and financially challenging. Solar lights, on the other hand, have proven to be a great solution. They're small and compact and produce clean lighting at lower cost than kerosene. However, they still remain too expensive for the small amount of light they produce. My research aims to improve the efficiency of these lights to make them more affordable and sustainable environmentally friendly. Usually, if we were to increase the light output of such a system, we'd have to increase the photovoltaic module or change its material to more efficient material, both resulting in higher cost of the overall system. My PhD proposes to use a solar concentrator to incorporate it into the design which focuses the light onto the solar cell. And this way we can have four, five, or six times higher output. So we can, we can power a light which is four, five, or six, five, six times brighter. This way we replace photovoltaic material with a small plastic lens. We can reduce the cost and we can reduce the environmental footprint. I have already designed a concentrator which focuses the light four times onto the solar cell and collects the sunlight for five hours, not needing a sun tracking system. I'm currently working on making it more efficient. Thus, my research aims to reduce the cost and the environmental footprint of such systems so that more people can afford a clean light or brighter light. It aims to contribute to the, aim, to the global aim to provide access to clean lighting to more people in this world, to provide clean power because a society without power is powerless. Thank you. <laughs>